Stokes theorem, the statement that the line integral of the tangential component of a vector taken around a closed path is equal to the surface integral of the normal component of curl of the vector taken over any surface having the path as a boundary. Very let the this is a loop and A is along this surface, there is this loop, this line or this path. Then A dot DL implies the line integral of the A all over the path, this closed path integral means total value of A along the path equals to we know that this is the del cross A curl, curl implies the rotation of the vector. So in the in our case the A is a vector, so del cross A implies the uh, rotation of the vector point to point and dot ds implies the total flux or total surface integral of the vector a so this is the if a be the velocity then obviously this gives the net outward uh, flux or outward or outer fluid fluid so a dot dl equals to del cross a dot ds that is total it signifies that curl measure the amount of twist of rotation of the vector at each point the integral of the curl through the surface or, or flux of the curl can be determined if we go to around the edge and find how much of the fluid is flowing out of the boundary there is no restriction on the shape also so it is very helpful to calculate also line integral a dot dl in terms of the surface integral in our previous problem we can find out the a dot dl these are very lengthy but in this process you can easily solve a problem now we are going to solve a numerical problem let uh, problem is that let a equals to a, a is a vector a equals to ax plus 3yz j plus axy k cap for the figure and this is the um, ax y z so the x y z and this is our loop our path obviously this is square path so how to get the stops your line integral I have to find a dot dl over this path so here is a no any other data so just use Stokes theorem so we know that from Stokes theorem a dot dl equals to curl of this a dot ds this is surface integral this is like line integral so that is del cross a means now del cross a equals to we know this is i j k del del x del del y del del z and this is there is no i so this time 0 this gives x plus 3 y z and this is a x y and this gives i cap ax minus 3y plus j cap minus y plus k cap so just put this value in surface integral i cap ax minus 3y plus j minus y plus k cap dot ds so or dot ds is a vector so there will be unit vector this uh, s surface lie in yz plane so sir 
unit vector should be i means perpendicular to this surface and da should be t y dz okay divided by we uh, have done in previous um, lecture that is n cap that is i cap dot remaining i cap so this is one so simply this is and the limit should be this is 0 to 1 this is 0 to 1 so this gives 0 to 1 0 to 1 minus 3 y dy dz at ax equals to 0 because this is surface so for all over the surface x is equal to 0 so this gives minus 3 by 2 so this are the answer so we have done it in easily in three or four lines but if we take in direct method data dl then this should be lengthy